We're just back from Elkhart, Indiana, RV capital of the world, where we were honored to be invited to host the RV Business Magazine's RV of the Year Awards for 2022. This is the fourth of five video tours of the finalists in our Behind the Scenes series. See the new styling and innovations for 2022 in this new Keystone Arcadia travel trailer. And stick around to the end to learn more about the official awards announcement and winner. So here we are with Jeff Reynolds from the president of Keystone showing us the brand new Arcadia. And tell us some of the top features on this rig from the outside. Okay, well from the outside, um, you know, as we were designing the Arcadia, we had kind of a mantra. We wanted automotive fit and finish on the outside. And we wanted to maximize storage and efficiency as much as we could. So, you know, we started with the chassis. This is a proprietary chassis. It's got a crawl space in it. So all of your water lines, your electrical, your heating system, it all runs through um, about a three inch tall compartment in there, kind of like a crawl space in your house, fully right. insulated, and it protects all of the key components, which is a first of its kind in the RV industry. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so it's a little different. And then from there, as you get around the coach, um, we talk about storage, because anytime you get into the, you know, into the campground, that's what you want most, the storage. So any nook and cranny throughout, we tried to build in some storage. Um, and you'll see, you know, whether it's the slam baggage door behind you there or on the offside, you know, a, um, a compartment that runs all the way under the bed slide, we've maximized that space. So you really shouldn't be light on storage in the Arcadia travel trailers. Um, and then something as simple as the A-frame. We've actually designed a proprietary lithium storage box. And so um, this is not only wider, but it's also longer as well. And so, you know, for those, those people that are upfitting to lithium batteries, um, you do our Solar Flex 200, which is standard on all Keystones, but also 400 and 600 are, are offered in Arcadia. So as you upgrade, you have room to upgrade those batteries as well. Right. And then this front cap, this has a big profile. Front cap is totally different. So first of all, it gave way to a little bit more storage on that A-frame because, you know, most travel trailers come down and they bow out at the bottom. This one actually does the opposite. It mimics our fifth wheels. So this travel trailer was designed more in the image of our fifth wheels, and it just set us up for so many more possibilities on the safe Right, this is really cool. And I noticed also the slide, on, especially on the other side, they're huge, yeah, they're really tall. So, so this is different for two reasons. A, this is a fixed bed base unit. We were the first to do that really um, last year on our fifth wheel line. We brought it over to this travel trailer line, but it does a couple of things. You'll notice a huge amount of storage under the bed on the inside, but you'll also notice this completely separate storage on the outside. And again, the other nice part about that is it's completely finished all the way around, so nothing slides inside your coach. So if you want outside storage, it stays outside. Right. Because the slide is so tall, it seems like when I was inside, we'll go inside in just a minute, but the feels really big inside. That was the, it kind of, that combined with our decor, which is again, designed to be more residential. Uh, we really wanted it to be light and bright. So big windows, really tall um, slide boxes. And these slide boxes actually are just as tall as our fifth wheel slide boxes. But it also is accommodated because this is a taller travel trailer. You know, a lot of travel trailers now have the arch roofs, which are great, but they cut the sidewall height down. So you're walking in under the entrance door a little bit. This isn't like this, this is set up more like your house, so it's tall all the way across the roof line. We're over 100 gallon fresh um, water on this coach, and we're also um, full level up. So a lot of travel trailers have gone up to just the stabilizer jacks. This is a full travel trailer, one touch level up, which is a little different for travel trailers. Quite the truth. Let's check out some of the inside features. All right, so first off, this is like nothing else I've ever seen in a travel trailer. So this is amazing. Tell us about this design of this interior. Well, that was what I was hoping you were gonna say, because again, as we talk about automotive on the outside, we talk about residential on the inside. So we want folks to walk in and feel like, man, this is an upscale house or a condo or an apartment, whatever feels like home. And so it started with the decor. Um, you know, we wanted it to feel more like a modern day farmhouse. You're seeing a lot of it out there now, but we didn't feel like anybody had really done it like their home. So everything from the white cabinets that are that are all solid hardwood cabinets um, to the proprietary um, design of the furniture was designed to look like home in an RV, and so um, and that's what the space is all about. It really is. It's not, and I haven't seen Roman shades like this, and it's so cool that you can just lift this up and it holds. Yep. And I think you mentioned you can actually just remove these yep. and take them in to have them clean. Right? Yep. Under the box balance, there are clips. You can clip them off. You can take them in to have them dry clean. We've heard for years, people love day night shades, but they're very RV and they're very hard to clean. So these are all fully dry cleanable. Um, and then even the unit itself, you'll notice the head height in here, the ceiling height, you know, most coaches are 76, 78 inches now. 
This is the extra tall interior, and then that allowed us to get taller slides. So when you walk in, kind of married up with that light decor is this really tall uh, space with big windows, so that if you are enjoying the campsite, you can actually, you know, enjoy it. Yeah, it really does feel, this is huge inside for a travel trailer. I'm 5'8", he's what, 6'3"? I'm 6'3". Six three. Six three. Yep. But these really tall slides, and they're not only tall on the height to make the room feel like it's just naturally this large, but also you've done a beautiful job down here where you're using the same laminate on the slide and it's a flush floor slide. Yep, yep so our, all of our, our um, main floor slides are flush. So that uh, galley slide and a travel trailer, I don't believe anybody had done that yet, so it's flush. Because everybody talks about, I'm in my kitchen, I want to be able to cook, but I don't want to trip over the edge of a slide out. And um, and then, of course, we did the same thing in the, in the main slide, which is also, by the way, seven inches longer because most people who come into a, a, an RV have trouble pulling out the chairs. They don't have any room. So we didn't want that. We wanted this to be residential. So you got plenty of room to slide into both sides of this table um, in the main slide. Everybody talks about, hey, I don't want to take up my dinette for work or for sitting or for staging from the kitchen. So we designed a pretty simple flip-up countertop here. Um, and it is all food grade um, butcher block. But you can sit here, you've got your outlets, you can you know, use your chair as a workstation. You can use it again to stage food for your, for your dinette table, or you can just have overflow seating here. Our setup in the, the um, pantry is a little unique in that we put um, power in here. So you've got, you've got a setup for a toaster. Um, you can do your coffee. Everybody has Keurigs these days, it seems like. So we wanted a place for that. You can, you've got the fully adjustable shelves. And then again, keeping up that storage thing, um, we've got it clipped here, but we wanted to maximize our storage. So there isn't any wasted space anywhere in Arcadia. Now, you've done a great job with the storage because I can see that in the bedroom there's a the little cubby, but in here you've got this storage, which I love. It's, I love stealth storage, by the way, because, you know, as for security. But then the storage outside was behind where this fireplace is, would have normally been unused space, yep. but you've got a great space outside for that. One of the things that we didn't want was to build a coach this, this big and then have 600 pounds of carrying capacity. Definitely. And, and there's a lot of them because a lot of people will, you know, they, they want to travel with water, they want to travel with propane, and they don't want to have to worry about that. Right, but this has designed for people doing some extended travel. It's going to have bigger water tanks and yep. all that insulation underneath. Yep. I'm really happy to hear it has the cargo capacity. That's really big for us, the yeah. safety and people being overloaded in the rigs. And yep. this is a big travel chamber. We're it's talking big. what, 37 feet? Yep, long? this one's 37 feet. So Jeff, here in the front of this, I can really see both. There's a really amazing design in here, but also you can start feeling some of what you're talking about outside. You've got the really tall ceiling. You've got this nice, big, deep closet here. So, and I can see other storage units as well. There's, there's, tell us a little bit more. So again, trying to maximize storage everywhere. So everything from you know a, a built-in closet behind you there to you know storage under the seat here to uh, a closet where we really tried to bring the, the, the bar up to more of a residential level so it's not down here at your waist. But something as simple as you know the giant drawers under this bed. And by the way, this is a king size, a California king bed. So it's not only wider, but it's actually longer as well. And to try to keep that residential thing going, it's a Serta mattress. So this is a mattress that we really didn't want anybody to have to throw out right after they bought their RV. Right. I really like this barn door. This is a really nice, classy look. It's also on the entry into the bedroom, but in the closet, it maximizes the space. And these Roman shades, we'll see more of those in the main room, but this is a really nice looking bedroom. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for yeah. walking us through. Thank this you. Show. It's a pleasure. Such a pleasure to yeah. meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Really a wonderful, wonderful rig. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Did you like the new Keystone Arcadia? And do you think it will win RV of the Year? Let us know in the comments below. We're posting videos daily between now and November 15th when you can catch interviews with the finalists and announcement of the winner at 12 noon Eastern, November 15th, 2021 at rvbusiness.com. Now go check out the other video tours here on our channel and our behind the scenes interview with Rick Kessler of RV Business who shares how they select the RV of the Year finalists and the winner. Remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications and watch all the videos in the RV of the Year series. Thanks for watching.